in the sun-kissed land of Calabria, ancient legacies of Greece and Rome intertwine, shaping a vibrant cultural tapestry. Magna Grecia emerges where the colonies thrived, fueling a flourishing civilization that shaped the region's destiny. Today, the land still bears indeliable marks of the Roman civilization, with the trace of the ancient cities, theaters, and cultural trade routes. The Via Popilia, a road connecting Rome to the southern tip of Italy, resonates with the footsteps of conquerors and merchants, forging connections and bridging cultures. Besides history, Calabria's landscapes unfold with breathtaking beauty. Verdant forests and sweeping vistas awaken the senses of the central territory, embraced between the Tyrrhenian and Ionian seas, with their sandy beaches and crystalline waters. Calabria is well known for its unique fruits, which draw the landscape with the plantations. Among them, bergamot is the queen of citrus fruits, appreciated worldwide for its taste. According to the opinion of some historians, Curinga originated from an ancient city called Lautonia. It was dedicated to the goddess of hunting, an essential activity in the dense woods around the city. The contemporary town, founded during the Middle Ages, is surrounded by olive groves and vineyards, and from its dominant position, it overlooks the sea and mountain ranges. The Hermitage of Sant'Elia Vecchio, a spiritual place where monks withdrew to pray in solitude, built in the year 1000 AD, is a testament to the antiquity of Coringa's foundation. Near the monastery, the gentle giant of Coringa stands out. It is the millennial plane tree, the biggest eastern plane tree in Europe, included in the list of protected monumental trees of Italy. The thermal complex of Aconia in Curinga holds a significant place in the archaeological landscape of the area. Nestled in the alluvial plain of two rivers, the thermal complex is a remarkable representation of architectural achievements during the imperial era. Some historians hypothesize that the thermal complex was part of a grand villa belonging to influential individuals who held sway over part of Calabria. Another thesis suggests that the complex was connected to a public post office, which implies that the thermae were in charge of a public function. In Roman times, body care and personal hygiene were widespread in the daily routine and performed as a social act. The thermae were a place for gathering but they also served as a place where political and strategic choices took place among influential figures, shaping the region's destiny. The Curinga complex consisted of various rooms, including the Frigidarium, Tepidarium and Calidarium. A compounded system of channels granted the circulation of water throughout the ambience. Furthermore, the thermal building was strategically located near a river to ensure a steady stream of water supply. In the 1960s, the area surrounding the thermal complex experienced extensive modernization, including the construction of roads and railways. However, thanks to the intervention of the local authorities, the complex was partially restored and saved from further decay. The thermal baths of Curinga a relieving testimony to the architectural ability of the ancient Romans. Their dedication to creating elaborate architectural structures has no equals in history.